Hello, Salimic. In today's video, we're gonna clean catalytic converter without removing it from this to this. So, we're gonna need endoscope camera to know how dirty the catalytic converter is and not damaged or cracked. And here's the kit I'm gonna use. I also used it on my previous video for cleaning fuel injectors without removing. We're gonna start with removing oxygen sensor to see how dirty the catalytic converter is, disconnecting wire harness, and any wire clip. Next, I like to use WD 40 to make the job easier. I'm gonna spray a few times and leave it for a few minutes to penetrate. Okay, it's been after 4 minutes. I'm gonna use 22mm wrench for undoing the oxygen sensor. And be careful with the wire, not get twisted. Next, let's hook up the endoscope camera to see how is the condition of catalytic converter. Even if you don't have this, not a big deal. I'm just using it to show the before and after videos and pictures. It doesn't look that bad. But I can see some holes clogged up. Let's see if my method cleans it. Let's do the cleaning process. For the cleaning agent, I'm gonna use a bottle of water, fill the rest with carpet cleaner. We can also use other cleaners like seafoam or specific catalytic converter cleaner. But I wanted to do this and it worked. After putting the whole bottle into the canister, it will be filled till here and close the cap. Connecting the sharp air, I like to regulate the pressure on 60 psi just like I did on my other video. When we open the lower valve, it will spray just like this. Alright, let's put the tip in oxygen sensor hole and open the lower valve to spray the whole cleaner onto the catalytic converter. Here's after a few minutes and we still got some left. Okay, the cleaner is finished. Closing the lower valve and putting the oxygen sensor back and start the engine. It should push all the dirt out of the tailpipe. I will let the engine run for a few minutes and then let it cool down so I can take the oxygen sensor out again to see the difference. You don't have to take the oxygen sensor out twice, I'm just doing it for the video. After turning off the engine and cool it down, let's see how cleaner the catalytic converter is comparing to before cleaning video. My car's catalytic converter wasn't that dirty, but we can clearly see a big difference after cleaning process. It was a good time to show how to clean oxygen sensor, even it looks clean. With spraying cut up cleaner, it can be cleaned just like this. And oxygen sensors won't get dirty unless you have some serious problem like a bad fuel injector or a bad spark plug. Hope the video was helpful. Let me know if you guys want me to use specific catalytic converter cleaner as well. As always, thanks for tuning in. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.